Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. In today's video, stop getting cheated on. Six top behaviors to watch out for. Too often men find themselves blindsided by a partner's unfaithfulness leaving them devastated and questioning everything. But the truth is, there are frequently subtle signs that if recognized early, could have served as warning beacons. I understand the instinct to trust, to believe that your significant other would never betray you in such a profound way. However, dismissing red flags as mere paranoia is a surefire path to heartbreak. As a renowned dating coach, David D'Angelo wisely stated, if you ignore the warning signs, they'll eventually hit you right in the face. So let's delve into six key behaviors that could raise your suspicions and prompt you to proceed with caution. Number one. Excessive independence. While self-sufficiency is an admirable trait, there is a fine line between healthy autonomy and a reluctance to fully commit. If your partner consistently prioritizes her freedom over the relationship, frequently going out where you're not invited or taking solo trips without clear communication, it could be a signal of a deeper resistance to genuine intimacy. According to a study by the American Psychological Association, individuals who regularly engaged in nightlife activities without their partners are more likely to experience infidelity. This isn't about being paranoid. It's about recognizing that her commitment might not be as strong as yours. Two, lack of transparency about relationships. Evasiveness or inconsistencies when discussing former partners should raise a major red flag. As the insightful YouTuber Hannah Pearl Davis aptly noted, if she can't be honest about her past, how can you trust her with your future? Be wary if she avoids talking about her past or if her life stories don't add up. According to a survey conducted by YouGov, 20% of people admitted to lying to their partners about their past relationships. This kind of dishonesty can be a precursor to infidelity as it suggests a pattern of deceit. Women who aren't open about their past might be more likely to repeat the same behaviors. They might withhold information to prevent judgment or maintain a certain image. This behavior can lead to a lack of trust and a higher likelihood of cheating. Three, beware of an overemphasis on appearance and social status. Constant attention-seeking behavior, whether through provocative social media posts or unhealthy obsession with how she's perceived, often stems from deep-seated insecurities. Insecurities that could make her vulnerable to the ego-stroking and advances of others. Notice if she's obsessed with her appearance and social status, does she always need to look perfect? Is she constantly checking her phone for social media updates? A study by Pew Research Center found that individuals who are highly active on social media are more likely to experience jealousy and insecurity in their relationships, which can lead to infidelity. This behavior often stems from a deep-seated need for approval that can't be fulfilled within the confines of a single relationship. 
women who are constantly seeking external validation are more susceptible to attention of others, increasing the risk of infidelity. It's like feeding an endless void. No matter how much attention you give her, it's never enough. As Christina Hoff Summers said, young women's self-involvement paradoxically has led to a loss of their sense of self-worth. Four, lack of respect for relationship boundaries. If she constantly disregards the boundaries you've established, whether maintaining close friendships with her ex or engaging in behavior she knows makes you uncomfortable, it demonstrates a profound lack of commitment to the relationship. Ex-partners are just that, ex, and need to remain in the past. According to a study by the Journal of Marriage and Family, couples who don't respect each other's boundaries are significantly more likely to experience infidelity. Disrespecting boundaries often indicates a lack of commitment or respect for the relationship. It can also suggest a desire to keep options open. If she's not respecting your relationship boundaries, she doesn't respect you. If she doesn't respect you, she can't or won't love you and it's over. It also most likely means she might be looking for your replacement. Before we continue through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your support with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell to be notified when I drop new videos and a comment of what you want to see more of. This tells the YouTube algorithm to show my work to more people. The more people who see it, the more men I can help. Five, frequent and unaccounted absences. When her plans are vaguer than the plot of a David Lynch movie, it's time to take notice. Notice if she often has vague plans, unexpected absences, or last minute changes to her schedule. That is sketchy. These could be signs that she's engaging in activities she doesn't want you to know about. A study by the National Option Opinion, sorry, a study by the National Opinion Research Center found that infidelity is more likely when a partner frequently spends time away from the relationship without clear communication. These absences can signal that she is cheating or creating opportunities for infidelity. If she feels the need to hide her whereabouts, it's often because she's doing something she knows you wouldn't approve of. Transparency about her whereabouts is crucial. Six, involvement in high drama social circles. Finally, be wary if her social circle is mired in high drama dynamics. Pay attention to her friends. Do they frequently cheat, engage in tumultuous relationships, or encourage behavior that disrespects men and or commitment? Such women normalize and even glorify infidelity, making it more likely she'll follow suit. According to the research published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, individuals are highly influenced by the behaviors of their close social circles. Peer pressure and the normalization of infidelity within her social circle can lower her inhibitions about adultery. If deceit is seen as acceptable or even admirable among her friends, she's more likely to follow suit. But beyond these behavioral cues, research has shown that fatherlessness and being raised by a single mother can profoundly impact a woman's life choices and relationships. According to a study 
published in the Journal of Family Psychology, women raised in fatherless households are more likely to engage in risky sexual behavior, experience higher rates of teen pregnancy, and have a difficulty maintaining committed relationships. The lack of a positive male role model can lead to a skewed perception of healthy masculinity and intimacy. Additionally, a study by the National Center of Health Statistics found that children raised by single mothers are more likely to experience poverty, academic struggles, and behavioral issues. All factors that can contribute to a higher likelihood of engaging in promiscuous or self-destructive behaviors later in life. Commonalities among men who get cheated on. Now, let's flip the script and look at the common traits among men who often find themselves on the wrong side of infidelity. Recognizing these patterns can help you avoid becoming a statistic. One, naivete in relationships. Many men enter relationships with the assumption that their partners would never cheat. This naive approach can lead to a lack of vigilance and awareness of potential red flags. A study by the University of Denver found that individuals who are overly trusting are more likely to be blindsided by infidelity. Two, poor paternal relations. Men who grow up in single parent homes, particularly without a father figure, may have an idealized view of women. This is especially true of men who are raised by single moms who set out to raise them to be gentlemen and not like their fathers. Instead, they set them up for lifelong simpery and or becoming white knights. Without a male role model, they may lack the critical perspective on relationships and be more inclined to accept their partner's actions without question. This lack of balance viewpoint can make them more susceptible to normalizing and excusing toxic behaviors in their partners. Three, over-reliance on sexual satisfaction. Men who place a high value on sexual gratification often overlook other crucial aspects of the relationship. If they are sexually satisfied, they might ignore signs of infidelity. According to a study published by the Archives of Sexual Behavior, men who focus primarily on sexual satisfaction are more likely to experience infidelity due to a lack of emotional connection. Four, lack of self-esteem. Low self-esteem can lead men to tolerate disrespect and overlook cheating behaviors because they fear they won't find another partner. This lack of self-respect can prevent them from setting and enforcing healthy boundaries. A study by the American Psychological Association found that individuals with low self-esteem are more likely to stay in unhealthy relationships and tolerate infidelity. Ultimately, the key is to approach relationships with a balanced mix of trust and discernment. Blind faith will leave you vulnerable, but excessive suspicion can poison even the healthiest of bonds. As President Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify. Remain vigilant for these three warning signs, but also cultivate self-assurance and self-respect. For it is the only when you value yourself, others will truly value you in return. In the words of David D'Angelo, a man's self-respect is like a force field that protects him from being taken advantage of. Embrace that mindset, gentlemen, and you'll be better equipped to navigate the complex terrain of modern relationships with confidence and clarity. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, 
subscribe, and hit that bell, and share this video with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, defeats, as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my memes, or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up and a comment. This support helps me make more content.